What is up YouTube? Cover Productions here with another video. It is raining outside today, um, so you might hear a little bit of noise, but um, I'm going to be reviewing. Let me just, here's the box. Uh, you all know this set. Lego set 76183, Batcave the Riddler face Up. This set contains 581 pieces. Retails for $80 in the United States. I'm not sure about the price elsewhere, but uh, it's, uh, I believe it was released um, for pre-order late last year and came out earlier this year. Of course, the new movie came out about a week ago. Very good movie and I highly recommend it. Anyways, I got this set a few days ago and I built it, so we're gonna just take a look at the mini. The first minifigure in the set I'm gonna look at is Alfred. It is the new one from the new movie. Uh, the hair piece a little bit off. But there you go. Uh, he's he's using the wand piece as a uh, like a like a cane essentially. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what that's meant to be. You could also um, I guess use it to fight. But um, yeah, decent figure. I like the tie. I think it's an exclusive print. A uh, little bit of detail around the back. It's hard to see with the lighting. I'm gonna have to get a new light. But a few blue lines. Decent detail. Uh, yeah, generally very happy with this figure. Uh, that's what needs to be done. Uh, so the next figure we're going to take a look at, of course, uh, Batman, Batman himself. Disappointing figure, in my opinion. So you got um, very solid printing for the uh, torso and legs. I, I, uh, the details, well done. It's accurate. Uh, I'm, I prefer this gray color scheme to the black one because it feels a little bit more realistic, and it's decently accurate. Uh, as I said. The issue here is, of course, you got the, the nice fabric cape and uh, the uh, battering. But the issue here is the cowl and the, and the print for the head. So more so the cowl. I'm not really a fan of... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not happy with this. So the cowl in the new film I definitely does not look like this. It has no chin strap. It's just open there, so... That's obviously an issue with this. And then the issue for the face is that they can't make a new print. I mean, I guess I'm okay with it, but uh, I never really understood this face print at all. So that's that's what that is. Uh, yeah, okay, figure. Um, happy with the inclusion of the first one. Next up, Selena Kyle. She's got this uh, chain piece. I'm always going to go on the figure really quickly. Good printing. Uh, hair piece is all right. They need to give her some hair because she's not completely bald. Uh, but it looks a little bit awkward. Nice job with the detail on the torso. Turn around back so you guys can see. Uh, yeah, it's an okay figure. Nothing too special. They do have the old pistol piece used a few times in this set, so I like that. Otherwise, not much to say about this one. Uh, next figure is kind of interesting. This is Bruce Wayne. I'm not sure why on the box they call him the Drifter, but I guess I guess that's accurate. Uh, I have no idea, actually. I don't really care about this guy in, in this form because, I guess a spoiler, he doesn't really do much in the show. Not the show, in the movie. The, the movie is really about the Batman and much less about Bruce Wayne. It's, in my opinion, the worst Bruce Wayne they've done, but... Yeah, I, I guess it's good printing. I like these pieces if you didn't want to use them for Batman. I like the face print and round back. He's wearing a hoodie, so you can see that. Next up, the Riddler. Now, this is the main villain from the new movie. I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't watched it, so I'm just going to bring this one just as a basic minifigure. He's wearing, he's wearing a interesting suit that is a suit not what he normally looks like so yeah the glasses look nice it's pretty accurate to the movie um doesn't spoil much of anything actually but yeah uh the hair is kind of weird because it's just like sticking out there but all right it's all right figure um not really any reason to complain it's good they have it in here lastly we have oh boy why am i forgetting the guy's name lieutenant Lieutenant, Lieutenant Gordon, yeah, I'm sorry. Obviously, uh, just blanking on the name. Had a look at the box there. Uh, he's, he has another pistol, handcuffs. He is a 
member of the police, Gotham City Police Department. Um, great face print. And a nice suit. I feel like this is a really good figure to be used in other themes. Take, like, switch out the head. And you got a nice suit there, so. Turn around back and see little detailing. Yeah, great figure. Uh, no complaints. Figures on the whole, definitely good selection. I definitely would have preferred a few more, and um, I'll get back to that on. I'll get back to that later. But let's take a look at the cave itself. Okay, so I'm moving the figures out of the way now, and uh, you'll see this. It looks a little bit empty at first, which I it actually is kind of a change of pace in, in a way from the other caves, but. I'm gonna bring this whole thing a little closer so you can see. This piece always falls off. Uh, we're gonna take it section by section. So I'll just give a brief, brief like a, just a brief overview of what you're actually looking at here. Cause this could look a bit confusing. It's obviously two train tracks and uh, essentially a station terminal. But the idea here is this is all entirely closed off. It's essentially in the defunct subway of Gotham under the Bruce Wayne skyscraper. So this whole area up here is supposed to be the inside of his actual skyscraper. So this is not like a public place necessarily. It's his skyscraper and he's pretty much got exclusive access to this part of the subway. At least that's what I've been able to observe. First up, uh, good prints here in the, in the front uh, for these pieces. Not prints, good stickers. Uh, these white pieces I will actually go into. So these are He's a little bit different. They are question mark pieces, tons of question marks on them. And if you use this uh, piece back here, which we'll take it off, is actually a red magnifying glass. It might not show up on camera, but you can actually decode what these say. Yeah, it looks better in person. This one actually, uh, this one says to the Batman, the others say different things. This is a fun play feature for kids. Uh, so that's kind of getting those out of the way. Kind of goes with the figures. All right, first up, train tracks look nice, good detailing. This is actually pretty sizable as a whole. Give you a little uh, 360 here. Uh, up here, you're looking at the inside of this skyscraper, just the first the bottom floor. Um, these are staircases down to the bottom. This was a fun build overall. These lights are nice, but kind of fragile. Um, lots of area to post figures, I and mean, that's the benefit of these. Back case set. Um, looking at the, this is actually removable, so if you get the bat mobile, you can put it there. This is supposed to be his control room, essentially. So you got a chair, put Bruce Wayne on it, or anyone. Um, magnifying glass right there. Very nice keyboard sticker. These are actually three big stickers, so be careful when applying them. Uh, you can see you have what appears to be the Riddler in the middle. Just some general controls. Uh, like cameras around Gotham and the base. Uh, this is generally good. I'll, t I'll leave it out for now so you can get a sense of what it looks like without it, which it looks still pretty complete. I mean, that does not need to be there and you can still use this. And worst case scenario, this can just be a decent train terminal, like a subway station. All right, these sections on the side can actually swing out and clip on. And over here, you have a little weapons rack. Nothing too much there. Over here you have some fuel, I guess, uh, some canisters of stuff. I'm not really sure what those are used for. And over here you also have tons of more tools. So this is, that's really, that's not, a, that's not very useful, but you can't imagine you could do some maintenance on things like this motorcycle right here, which I'm kind of going all over the place, but this is great. You can put a figure up there, handlebar, uh, rolls very smoothly. You can pop this out as a kickstand if you want. I think it's meant to be exhaust though, so yeah, this is definitely a good um, motorcycle. I, I would like them to use this piece more. So there's that. That that can be used instead of a Batmobile. I'll get to that uh, later. It's a little table here with, a, with that glass on it. This is nice. This is all actually clipped in here, so this whole segment is actually built separately. Snare well up. You got a piece of dynamite. That can go wherever. Um, okay, back here. We're going over here now. This is actually a jail cell, so if you un... There's actually an escape feature back here, so you can pull that away and get in. But if you remove the chain, the lock, essentially, you can open this 
uh, what I would guess is a very strong type of glass door. And you can throw the Riddler in there, lock him up. So that is the attendant feature right there. Uh, moving on, it's gonna take a while, something set. You can see a clock face here, so that's accurate, I believe. That was in the movie. Uh, this one's out, that's supposed to be a map, and there's a question mark in, around here. It's hard to see on camera. And then here is just, I'll pull it out, a computer screen and a keyboard. So, uh, decent job doing that. Overall, um, there, there isn't actually anything over on this side, unfortunately. But, I'm sorry, it's not attaching. Yeah, you can hear the rain in the background. Overall, this is a very good set. I'll just keep talking while I set everything up. Um, I've had an issue with the price. 80 bucks seems like a lot. Only 581 pieces, but overall, I don't really have an issue with the price when you're getting such a fun model. You buy the Batmobile for 30 bucks, I'll probably pick that up soon. Might do a review on that. But, um, yeah, this is, this is fun fun place for kids and doesn't look bad on display either so yeah i'd recommend this in the long run anyways thank you all for watching uh, for watching this has been a nice little comeback to youtube doing more reviews i'll probably keep doing these um actually i'm pretty sure i will because i'm on spring break we'll be having some more time so uh yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated and i'll see you all in the next video